Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, your favorite Pennsylvania reviewer. And it's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the Gundam Universe. Mobile Suit Gundam. And here we have a nice product shot of that Gundam. I like that. Indeed I do. Here we have a product shot. Some artwork. I love that. Some more possible poses they show off. And other figures in the line. We have the Mobile Suit Gundam and the Wing Zero Gundam. The only one we're missing to complete this wave is the Unicorn Gundam. And of course, warning information, a lot of it. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Look at the figure itself. He's got a lot of posability. I love it. Everything just moves smoothly. And I love it. His knee can bend. I like that. He has ankle tilt. I like that. His head is on a ball joint. I love it. And now we're going to give him his beam savers. But before we give him his beam savers, we're going to show off, of course, his accessories. Here we have his molded fist. Fists. And that's all there is to say for the ex for those two accessories. Sorry, I had to correct myself there. And now we're going to have them wheeled in. One beam saver in hand. I probably won't show off the dual beam saver until after I disconnect the shield. But I'll start doing that right now so you can see that. And you can totally have them dual wielding these Gundam Wing pink beam savers. And yes, they are pink because they were like that in the show. So you can totally have them like going all double wheeled in with those beam savers. Which is cool, by my standards. Now we're going to disconnect his beam savers, reconnect his shield back into place, Plug this piece back into place. Plug in the shield into the port connector. And there we have the shield back in regular formation. We're going to give him his beam rifle. And last but not least, we're going to disconnect the beam saber pieces and reattach them, the hilts of the beam savers, back into his backpack. And then we're, then we're going to get down to comparison as soon as we load these accessories back in the bag. For comparison, here he is next to his Fellow wave mate, it's Wing Zero. And yes, his shield is all wobbly. I don't know if I lost a piece or it just doesn't attach correctly. If you know, please leave me a comment. I will appreciate it. But there is the Mobile Suit Gundam next to his fellow wave mate. The Wing Zero Gundam Universe. Gundam. And for the last comparison, 
here he is next to Gundam Universe Death Sai, right next to our mobile suit Gundam. And this is from Wave 2. I am going to try to get the rest of Wave Wave 1 and 2. The only ones I'm missing now are the Unicorn Gundam, the Black Unicorn Gundam, and of course, Bolitos. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? I got this off eBay for 24 bucks. Definitely worth the money. If you're a Gundam fan and you want a good, accurate Gundam figure. Gundam Universe will hook you up with the best looking figures. And the articulation is great. Even the paint in the eyes are great. And the paint all over him. If you're a huge Gundam fan, pick him up. You won't regret it. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.